All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, yeah, I didn't do any research at all. Uh, I just woke up around six, seven a.m. I, I think I wound up taking in too many calories from eating ice cream yesterday. So today I'm just going to just not have uh, any ice cream at all because uh, I've been having trouble sleeping the past few days. But I feel great. You know, it's just. Uh, so it's like, oh, okay, yeah. I mean, here's the thing: I don't want to be uh, burning through my whatever too much, right? My body, so I want to make sure I get enough uh, enough sleep. All right. Uh, of course, gotta actually refresh these. See, I'm always paranoid that this thing's just not gonna work. Uh, okay, there we go. But I mean, the guy who made this plugin, despite all the endless amount of bugs, like it works really well. And I also added the exchanges yesterday, so I wound up not doing any coding yesterday on my game. I might not do any today either. I don't know, because I have to actually, because I have to get ready to. I'm actually going to go ahead and actually, what is the price of uh, Bitcoin? Yeah, it's actually lower, so if I put in a wire transfer, I could probably do the wire transfer request after I do this video. Actually, I better open up my uh, thing so I don't forget. Um, shit, I hope they don't mind me logging in from like a fucking proxy. That's the only problem. Uh, but then again, EverQuest is actually down for six hours, so actually, yeah, you might not have to worry about it actually because... Um, yeah, this might be a sign from God. I probably should buy my buy some Bitcoin. I just gotta buy like another uh, like ten percent. So it's like, what's that gonna set me back? Want the twelve hundred dollars plus the fees, which is like gonna be twenty thirty bucks. Nah, eh, all right, good enough. All right, so yeah, I gotta definitely do that. So I didn't do any research at all. So uh, and I can't, I kind of can't wait. So I don't, I don't know. I really should probably do a little bit of coding today, right? Just add another turret. Because right now I'm working on fixing the tur uh, changing the turret models. So, all right. Anyway, um, let's see. Bitcoin searches for this week is 16 to 22. Actually, yeah, EverQuest is going to be down for six hours. I don't have a um, physical day off today, though. I kind of want to start changing that maybe. So yeah, I could probably actually work on my game while I wait on <laughs> uh, EverQuest. All right. Anyway, uh, 16. Oh wait, no, that's that's the date. Bitcoin is at 13, so yeah, it's starting to flatline a little bit, so it's not the best. Uh, yeah, I'm still trying to calibrate how much of a difference the 24-hour volume is. I don't know if I should just add a flat 30 billion, or I should do it by percent based. But other than that, everything else is completely accurate. So, and of course, I am blocking ads on my own site, because no, I know I'm not going to click it, so I don't want to piss off the advertisers. Uh, anyway, uh, but all of you should look at the ads for sure, because you're actual real people. Anyway, uh, 24 hour volume is like 90 billion, so the other, this one says 114, so it's actually pretty high. This is considered pretty high. One, when I first installed this website, like, I guess a few days ago, early last week or something like that, this thing was as low as like 40, 50 billion. It was like ridiculous. It was half of what CoinMarketCap was showing. It's really crazy. Bitcoin does at 57.81%. This has been very consistent, though. This one says 59.3%. So the altcoins are definitely having a massive impact. Bitcoin's down to 11,903. Uh, however, it's still up 29% for the month. Um, I didn't actually realize how useful this would be to me. It, keeps, it helps keep things in perspective. Litecoin's at 63.53, so it's down this much, but it's still up 47.88%. Uh, it's actually a lot. <clears throat> Chain looks up all, like basically a little more than double. That's insane. Let's see. A doggy coin. Uh, you are at 431.96 million market cap. So not too bad. So basically it's been very stable. That's what I like. <clears throat> um, getting nerfs off gold. They're got to get ready to grow the Postmaster target. So, yeah, so no evidence of ACF fraud within our mailing system. So basically they're trying to steal the election again. Trump really needs to step up his game with uh, dealing with that because they're really trying to steal the election. It's bullshit. Makes a floor recovery. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, because we basically killed all the small businesses, which actually, believe it or not, don't generate that much money. And we uh, put everything into large corporations. That's why our economy, I mean, right now our economy basically consists of 
large corporations. That's it. Like they generate all the wealth. Small business people, because we're just by the nature of math and nature, it's you're small, right? You're not scalable, right? I could go next door and you know get local pizza, right? But they're not. They're never going to be as. And I know uh, those people. I used to buy from them every day or all the time. They're really cool. Uh, I had to stop for a while because a I needed to lose weight and b save money. Um, they had really good pizza though. Uh, but at the end of the day, a Papa John's will be just be so much better because they can scale, right? This is about. I mean, yes, there's a little bit of quality, but definitely quantity. Small business owners are only about uh, essentially quality and absolutely no quantity. So, uh, and then something like this happens, and then you're, and then everyone's unemployed. So, yeah. So I'm not going to read this because it looks like it's going to be in our flat day. Um, no options here. JMC coins at six to eight. Someone's been buying up a lot of JMC coin, which is fine by me. Uh, this did not reload properly. Uh, these numbers are actually accurate, so we're just going to wait on 404. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just refresh just in case. And I've said I've been watching this like a hawk. All right, here we go. Uh, 404 is at 89 to 100, so it's actually going way back up, which is good because these all these coins, oh, except for JMC, like I don't know why they've been crashing so much. Like there's just no reason for it. Uh, but now that Bitcoin, but unfortunately it's because, you know, Bitcoin's down a little bit, like 400 bucks and already this thing's starting to skyrocket. It's, it's like, uh, it gets so tiresome, you know, this, this crap, but either way, 89 to hundred, I'm not even selling any 404 coins. I hardly have any, uh, it's very annoying, very annoying two by two, uh, 26 to 27. Uh, so this is very solid for the time being. Rix is stabilizing at 22 to 26. It's still way too low, but not much you can do. And of course, big daddy, 100 coin doing uh, very well. I actually have, uh, didn't do any selling at all yesterday. <clears throat> so I'm actually going to try to let the market try to buy it itself up back naturally up to my, you know, my sell orders over here. And, hey, to increase the, uh, Price, of course, to make it look better, but also, too, I actually do want all the money now. I don't even want to give it to the scalper anymore. So I'm hoping today someone's going to, you know, come in and buy this shit. Because if not, I'm just going to wait them out. Because uh, I'm going to, because I'm going to buy, because the only reason why I've been selling pretty hard up until yesterday was because I needed to come up with Crex money uh, to do the second listing. And I needed to do it be way before August 31st because they're going to change the price. It could be higher or lower. I don't want to take that gamble. So they might also just keep it the same because Bitcoin's still uh, whatever, yeah, whatever this is, right? 11,900 or whatever. So where am I? So yeah, so now I can wait these people out. So yeah, uh, but yeah, demand for this is still there. But uh, we're st I mean, I think the problem is the coin is still too new. So I'm not getting listings on like CoinGecko and WorldCoin Index and all that. I'm definitely going to resubmit every 30 days, and when I list my new coin, I'm only going to submit it to Coin Paprika because I know they, uh, they, uh, they, they listed me really quick within like 24, 48 hours. It was like real, like wow, you know. So, yeah, so I got to do that. Um, yeah, because if I start now, I should have everything up and ready by say this coming Monday, I think. Right, next Monday or next Tuesday. Because right, I got, because I, I want to make sure I give myself a little extra time cushion too. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're losing people for some reason. All right. Well, we're down to one ninety five because I don't know. People are just being stupid for some reason. Or YouTube might actually be deleting fake accounts too. They're pretty aggressive about that. Actually, everyone's pretty aggressive about that, which I'm actually okay with. Uh, it just sucks that it has an impact on me. Bitcoin surges, yeah, because again, I'm getting more views, so I don't, I don't know what's going on. Bitcoin surges, blah blah. blah Bitcoin, wait, this looks, this was from yesterday's headlines. Ah, oh, man. Uh, is 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 Brave starting to show signs of being a Firefox? Uh, why would I move into gold? Wow, Warren Buffett moved into gold. That's hilarious. Bitcoin above 12k. Da, da, da. Yeah, I yeah I think the Oracle of Omaha has lost its touch. Ethereum, Bitcoin locked to DeFi rockets past five billion. Da, da, da. Wait, what? 
Wow. Yeah, DeFi is like all the rage these days. Of course, deliberate 300k of Bitcoin for a little while. I'm very big on EDR, currently like profitable, says. All, nearly all unspent, actually I do want to read this, even though, so we'll leave that for last, because it looks like we're not going to have any music. Boost to Bitcoin, Eli West confirms asteroid mining is a risk to gold prices. What? This is an old article, but I kind of want to read this too, actually. Alright, what do we have? Uh, how long will the bull market last? Bitcoin? No. Uh, no. No. Okay, so there's literally nothing on this site. Hilarious. Um, this is not... Well, actually, it was at 10% like 30, 40 minutes ago. Now it's at 13%. Oh, yeah, they did drop the, like, the WikiLeaks thing. Which I don't think is going to be a problem, but apparently that might just be enough to just make stupid people vote for Joe Biden. Oh, uh, God. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. You know, the, how, how much they can get away with. Uh, let's see. Blah, blah. Okay. Uh, Joe Biden. Hey, D. Let's see. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, this thing takes some in Australia because I don't see the WikiLeaks thing. No, well, I guess Trump will be formulating some kind of response. Actually, I want to do one rare thing. Let's see if he's about him. it's it really sucks not to be part of the establishment or the fake right because you know he got like boosted pretty crazy uh, don't tell but I'm willing for Trump the other uh, I, mean, I don't want by the way I think I'm willing for Trump don't tell oh this actually is pretty important uh, God I need to reach retweet this uh, I don't, don't tell I don't have you told them yet the or the so you should vote oh, they all live in a swing state blah blah blah. Oh, there we go. Alright. Alright, so that's not said anything about the about the thing yet. Alright, so Manhattan rents plunge as pandemic hits real estate, especially here in New York City. Because obviously I live here. Is this a video? Alright, it's only six. Alright, I guess we'll indulge. Uh where's the volume? What? Oh, I muted the site. To get people in the door. Is this because this pandemic has essentially stopped people from moving? Well, it, All right. homes. here to talk about it is Jonathan Miller, president and CEO of Miller Samuel. Jonathan, good to see you again. I want to start first with people who are looking to rent. So it looks like landlords are, are sort of ramping up incentives to get people in the door. Is this because this pandemic has essentially stopped people from moving? Well, uh, that's absolutely true. What we've seen is a real, we saw real in the beginning of March, April, we saw a tremendous outbound migration. About over 400,000 people left Manhattan, 40% uh, of the occupants, essentially. And they became first-time buyers. They lived with relatives. They rented. Uh, they, did, they did anything but come into the city. And that's sort of where we're looking right now. So what we're seeing is... Yeah, it's a ghost town here. I can definitely confirm that. Lots of softness in the rental market and one of the big reasons if and f words like de blasio and cuomo are mayor, my mayor and uh governor of new york you know they want fucking government bailout money so they can keep doing this bull retard bullshit yeah fuck them man. and for the softness is unemployment has skewed heavily to lower wage earners uh, which tend to be more renters than purchasers so on the purchase side 
we're we're clearly seeing an uptick but manhattan is still about in terms of contract level activity is 57 percent below this time last year which is quite a drop jonathan is is manhattan going to have to start offering up uh some pretty sizable discounts discounts to get people uh back into the city Yes, uh, that's already happening, and it, it sure looks like there's going to have to be more of it right now. <laughs> there's no point coming here. Everything's closed. <laughs> you can't get a job either, so it's like, you know. The, uh, the amount of the actual incentives being offered to tenants is up over 50% year over year. Um, the equivalent of about 1.7 months worth of rent last year is 1.1. And, there, and we're also seeing a significant vacancy rate, which is driving the need to offer incentives. Right now, uh, we have the highest amount of vacancy in at least the 14 years of history I have on this metric in the city. And the prior two months were also records. So every month is a new record of vacancy as there is clearly a problem with filling of the apartments. One, one point about that is, when, when you're reading about all the, the surge in activity in the suburbs, because the suburbs didn't have a spring market, and now there's this release of pent up demand, many of those buyers are first time buyers that were renters in the city. And uh, uh, yeah, that's true. Prices, our prices everywhere are down. So if you have like cash reserves, like I should be able to with a, I'd say six to 12 months, right? Once I, especially once I get my second crypto up, because 100 coins been doing so well uh for me for the most part um yeah i'm not gonna rent anymore i'm gonna buy a house you know I, if i because either i pay rent or i pay the garden in the form of uh property taxes right and uh you know which i'm fine with and property paying property taxes is way cheaper than paying rent at least you know because i pay 1648 dollars a month and i live in and this is a rent controlled apartment so it's all it's pretty expensive right most of you probably are like oh my god that's like my entire monthly budget which is insane to me right which is why i need to leave new york city have moved out and uh, are testing the waters you know jonathan i don't have to tell you that real estate is very cyclical and we've seen new york city and particularly manhattan fall out of favor in the past i'm thinking you know during the, the great recession and then of course during 9 11 but it always bounces back and comes back true. even stronger you've been doing this a long time what do you think about the real estate market in manhattan if trump wins the election they're going to continue they're going to lock down the city indefinitely so yeah like that's so that means like so i actually my dream of buying new york real estate apartment buildings here might actually be realized i'll have to do it after though particularly over the next five years or so does it bounce back so i think uh so the answer is yes that uh after the financial crisis the suburbs were largely skipped over and it was all about new urbanism and walkability and the creative class going to the city and you know there was a tremendous boom uh but the suburbs especially uh uh in westchester and fairfield counties to the north of the city did not experience they were passed over so they're having their day right now what we've learned from past periods well, particularly well, after 9 11 is that the outbound migration pattern oh i can't because i'm on my proxy years and then it completely reversed i think uh what's a little bit different this time is that while I think there is uh, there's a limit to the outbound migration, and I'm and I'm very I'm very much a believer in a reversal at some point. The thing that's a little bit different is is less about the pandemic and more about technology and Zoom, because I do think that the tether between work and home just got a lot longer. That people have more flexibility about where they can live in relationship to where they work. Oh, yeah, that is hey, true. Guys, what, about, what about commercial real estate? Uh, we talked to a lot of retailers. This is what I want to know about, because that's what I want to buy. They're exiting the city. Is there another uh, shoot a drop in commercial real estate uh, heading into 2021? The way I look at it is uh, that there. So, for example, in the retail, a tremendous amount of businesses aren't going to re return simply because they're no more. Uh, they're you know they're out of business, um, and this is a national issue as well. Uh, but they really need the residential 
uh, uh, you know, the vacancy to reduce. They need more people to be able to sustain um, unless, or there's just an oversupply. So I think there's a lot more coming in that regard. And then also I think on the commercial office side is that there's gonna be a lot of rethinking about the use of commercial space and downsizing and that sort of thing. So I think we have a number of years of ahead of us However, the way you would look at it yourself right now in, in this context of commercial real estate is we're at sort of peak remote work, peak sort of Zoom, and where we end up, there, we're going to be, uh, you know, not the way we were before, but somewhere in between. And right now we're at the extreme end of the uh, situation as it, as it were. Hmm. Really reading about this WikiLeaks shit. I can't believe uh, people are so dumb that the, it'll actually affect things. But Trump's, you know, dealt with worse, so hopefully he'll get deal with that. So he has to deal with stupid WikiLeaks as a distraction while dealing with the stupid mail-in fraud, which is what will actually cause him to lose the election if he fucks that up. All right, so that's good. All right, so basically, <clears throat> all right, so if I want to buy New York real estate, I probably have to do it sometime towards the end of Donald Trump's second term, assuming, of course, he uh, wins re-election this year, uh, which so far he should be able to. He was up to 10%, and then WikiLeaks is now dropping, so let's see, is it going back down again? Because Trump did have a really good ad against Joe Biden with his mental acu acuity, so it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting to see how it all pans out. Um, yeah, so I'll have to just wait, uh, just wait him out. Besides, it's already really expensive here anyway, so... I wouldn't mind paying less for a part of the millions, save a couple of million. Boost to Bitcoin, you ask if you ask for money is a risk to gold prices. Uh, okay, uh, there are plenty of funny and uh, DD. Uh, so it is an allusion to the possibility of Elon Musk's mining asteroids in the near future. Yeah, that could be a real thing. Although Dave and make on Twitter joke about it, it probably may not be as far fetched as it seems. Yeah, Elon Musk himself has confirmed this in a tweet to Portnoy early today. Uh, where's that tweet? Let's see, thoughts, psyche. Uh, I mean, that doesn't help, but, uh, you know, you're going to have gold to make everyone on Earth a billionaire. Holy shit, there's actually that much gold on here? Oh, shit. Okay, I actually need to retweet this on my thing. Um, let's see. Let me do that. Yeah. Um, Elon Musk confirms that they intend to mine gold from an asteroid. Considering he wants to colonize Mars by 2024, this is a very real possibility. Yeah, so. I actually want to retweet this on. Um, see, that's why I don't like gold and silver because you're gonna be able to easily mine this shit or find or find an alternative or in this case we'll just mine more of it. So you know, gold and silver is doomed. It's it's doomed. Uh, I'm gonna retweet that. And uh, yeah, well, what can I say? You know, um, uh, anywhere near power. Yeah, for some reason, this Laura Loomer thing has a lot of people triggered. That's kind of interesting. She's got a very high engagement. So, yeah. So, that's actually really good. That's actually really, really good. Um, oh, yeah. And it'll, it'll deal with a fatal blow to all the fucking boomer retards that I can't stand. So, good. The less power they have, the better. And then we can actually have true America first. Even though, technically, they're holding the line by voting Republican. You know, to be honest, I really just don't care. You know, well... You know, because like we're all, because the problem with being a conservative is we tend to be naturally uncreative and, you know, just hunker down. That's why I mean, we're conservatives, you know, we think in terms of restrictions, right? And, that, and that's not good, you know, especially if you do it all the time, which we tend to do, all right? You got to get new ideas. You got to get new blood in here. You got to start doing new shit, right? You got to expand, you know, aggressive expansion as the Joker from Dark Knight would say. All right, conservatives have to learn to be like the Joker, all right? Just aggressively expand, all right? That's what I'm doing, all right? And eventually it'll work, all right? Once I actually get my shit out there in the world. 
Uh, but oh well. It seems that Fortnite even more bullish for Bitcoin 20 minutes later. You demand in a post a big rise to 12k. That's not. A, it was already at 12k. Whether or not there's any way for a pump up for. Oh, and that's the end of that. Um, you might consider. I might consider using this as a thumbnail actually. 95% Bitcoin unspendable trend our current product blah 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 blah. Uh, what does this mean? You know, unspend transactions in the Bitcoin buyer are apparently profitable, meaning I run these funds receive by using when Bitcoin's worth less than today to coin to Uh if they have two Bitcoin, they send one of they actually have to cough up with the both Bitcoin. Uh, okay, this just doesn't seem to be anything. So we're just gonna leave it at this because I didn't want to go do other stuff. Actually I need to Put in uh put put in my money request to do the wire transfer because I want to buy Bitcoin today. Uh, eight eleven thousand eight sixty. I guess if by the time I can buy, it'll probably be down. So this is good. This is gonna be good. Um, so yeah, we'll have our second cryptocurrency out. I would also put the order out to do the artwork. So the first thing I need is the artwork. Um, then once I have the artwork, then I can upload it to the guy that uh, builds uh, cryptocurrencies and then he'll use the graphics and stuff. So if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, follow, mm. Mm. follow button, or uh, subscribe button uh, from wherever you're watching this from or on my YouTubes uh, at youtube.com forward slash GMC radio. Make sure you uh, smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. Great. I don't know the names of all my. Uh, well, actually, I do have a list of all my usernames uh, for EverQuest because I ha I'm running four. Eventually, I might want to run six and then do something called six boxing because this game is so old that you could easily you can even run it really well on a laptop. But you know, I'm not going too hardcore. I just want to get the passive income, essentially passive income, in my game, and then you know, it's, it's just a fun challenge. Uh, this is Chrome. So yeah, smash that subscribe on the right hand side of this page. Uh, enjoy, I guess, the lull in shit, shit going up. Uh, I definitely going to be taking advantage. Uh, I'm hoping today, like whoever the big buyer, because usually there's a big buy eventually. So there should be someone that's going to buy out all this stuff. Because I'm going to, I'm just going to wait them out. Just going to wait them out. Because you know, I don't have to sell. Because the more I sell, the more I inflate. Oh, I don't have hundred block open, but the more I inflate it, the more you know I create dumpers eventually. So, you know, I can wait, right? Because I, I I've made enough of my money back. That I'm just gonna just you know cough up the rest for the listing fee. So I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Uh, yeah, today's Wednesday. So uh, yeah, like, can you guys even see that when I do this? No, you can't. Oh, that's good. So yeah, you know. Uh, See you all tomorrow's video. Thanks. Johnson Chan, JFC coin, 404 coin, uh, 100 coin. I guess we got a, co a coin rich. Uh, here's our thumbnail.